Golden Keys. Today we are in my daughter Aaliyah's room. Yes, that's Aaliyah behind me. Excuse her. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking a hot mess as well. Um, we're in her room today. I was in Home Goods today and I was just looking around at their spring items and stuff and just decided to pick her up this beautiful um, Kate Spade comforter set they had in there. I love Kate Spade spade um, decor and her items, her accessories. I just love her style. Um, so I picked her up this beautiful comforter set in which I'm going um, to share with you guys. And I also purchased her a um, throw cover as well. Um, I wanted to incorporate some yellow into her room. I also seen this pretty pink color. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring in some pinks too, but I decided just to purchase, I had some pillows, but I was a little unsure about them. So I just decided to go ahead and purchase the comforter set and see how that looks. And she already has a lot of pillows and stuff and to just see where I want to bring in the pops of yellow and pink throughout the room, but we're gonna start with the base. So just remember that when you're doing a room, you don't have to purchase everything at one time and try to finish the room at one time. You can do a little at a time, just add a little bit of details at each time. Like in her room this time, she used to have like this pink color, um, like a coral pink color in her room. And it was hard because I had to match everything to that. So what we decided to do in her room this time was just to go with a neutral gray color. I believe the name of this color here in her silver room is Bullet. Silver Bullet. And I got it from Home Depot. It is from Beer. Um, collection is the silver bullet. It's neutral. Um, her bed is a gray, so it's neutral with the um, silver nail head. So that was beautiful. Then she has just white curtains behind me. She just have white curtains with little pom poms. So I kept everything base, um, like neutral. You see the framings, everything is just neutral. She has a lamp over there, which is neutral. Um, and her side table, which is all marble. That side table is solid. When I say solid and heavy, that side table is so solid and heavy. I love it and I caught a good deal at the last job I worked at with that purchase. Then she has her little, um, cubicle over here where she keeps her books and her little accessories and stuff like that so I'm just gonna make up her bed where well, we're gonna make it up together and kind of clean up the room I want to see how this comforter set looks on her bed and this way I'll know when I go back to the store um, what type of pillows I'm gonna add to it um, I also got her a throw so we're gonna see how everything looks and then we can bring in different elements, those colors. But we are trying to focus on um, bringing in yellows and bringing in maybe pink. I seen some pretty, this pretty pink color that I want to add to it. So we may be able to get that into this area as well. Usually she does the blush pink color. So we can give that a break and we could come in with some yellows. Okay, you should see her face when I said that. That's her favorite color. <laughs> Okay, guys, so let's get it.
guys I'm back now that the room is clean I'm back with a tour of the room as I said before um, I went out and purchased this new comforter set for her bed and I will be adding some more yellow to the room some pillows possibly a candle or something just little touches of the yellow to brighten up the room for the spring summer but here's a tour of the room as it is now Okay guys, so this is the end of her room tour. As I said, I will be incorporating other items into the room. So stay tuned for the next video. And thank you for joining us here on Behind Closed Doors with your host, Mildred. Behind Closed Doors with your host, Mildred. You guys have a happy, happy day. Bye-bye.